I'm joined in the studio today by Jed Austin, a poet who's organising a unique and original arts festival. The Out of the Box Festival has never been done in the UK before. Jed, thank you very much for joining us. It's great to be here. Tell us, what is the festival? Well, the festival is the first time that it's ever happened on the planet. It's an art festival and what the ethos of it is. The people on the streets are in the doorways. Uh, I'm collecting their artwork, painting and poetry. The people that are in day centres, where drop-in centres where they go to paint and create. They might live in hostels or one-bedroom flats. They've been homeless but no longer are getting their art. The professional people who uh, have never experienced homelessness but have recorded it in one form or other, photography or, or even ceramics or paintings, getting their art putting it all together in different galleries but we'll have poetry performances so it'll be paintings, poetry, photography, music, little small improvisation plays going on and lots of different things, art installations uh, from professionals, non-professionals and as I say street people that have never done it before in the, in the art galleries getting them all performed in all the art galleries under the same umbrella. So all the artists doing different things are all under these different roofs producing their work. And what gave you the idea <coughs> to do this? Well, what gave me the idea was walking down the streets of Manchester and you saw the things, the, the negative things, cameras pointing at the bailiffs, throwing things in the bins and of the homeless and that, and all the protest, all that type of thing. And I thought, this isn't the way it is. War on war doesn't work. It's only going to cause more of it. I, I know the homeless people and, and that in the communities. I've seen the wonderful art and the things they do, the comradeship and how they support each other. I'm going to get a positive art festival together where everyone comes together and connects and changes the perceptions and it'll all be positive. Homelessness is, you know, a, a big issue, not only in the UK, but Manchester as well. What are you hoping will come from this in terms of helping people who are affected by homelessness? Well, first of all, for them to display their art in galleries that they could never have dreamed of before, that'll increase confidence, self-esteem, it'll have something good that they can go to and be proud of. Also, when they come to these places, they'll hear about further resources where they can get help, with food and uh, these places, the drop-in centres that they can have showers at and because all these centres are involved as well and it'd just be a great talking point for them and oh I'm doing a painting because it's going on the exhibition and this is going to be an annual thing so it'll change their lives because who knows where it leads to. And what's the reaction been so far from homeless people and also the organisations? I know you've mentioned Mustard Tree are involved the with this. Centre, yeah, the there's, booth a, there's about eight, eight involved. Well, at first, when I, I said I was going to put it on, they said, well, look, we'll give you five minutes to talk about this. So we'll see. And I was there for an hour at each one, and they were really passionate and saying, look, we want to be involved any way we can help. We'll sponsor it. Don't worry about the money because I'm doing it for nothing. And everyone's like, what a wonderful idea. Where did this come from? I've never seen it in any gallery in the world before. And of course, it's going to ripple out and it's going to go into towns, different towns over the year, then across to America, then Europe, because homelessness is a global issue. But the wonderfulness of the art I've seen, it's like walking into Tutankhamun's tomb and going, wow. And someone's saying, what have you seen, Jed? Wonderful things, like wonderful things produced by uh, not just professional artists, but people who don't even consider themselves as artists, but are doing these portraits and landscapes and all sorts of things, because they're not just painting about doorways, the homeless, they're, they're painting wonderful things, so it's great. And it's taking place in a few different venues, isn't it? Tell us about those different venues. Three venues in Altrincham and one in Manchester. The Manchester one is Nexus, the altering ones are Art with a Heart, I've got a gallery up there which they're giving us for nothing so we'll furnish that out and local creation as well. So there'll be street performers, it'll be a real carnival atmosphere, people getting to link with each other, the viewer who's never seen homelessness and going wow this is just wonderful, are you doing it next year? Well of course we are because it's going to grow bigger and more people are going to get involved, Damien Hurst artist, personal artist, he's sending three pieces now. So I can't believe in five weeks how an idea has just exploded. It usually takes about a year to get these things together but people's generosity 
everyone's generosity has been amazing and Manchester obviously is a very you know on the art scene it's hugely influential do you think that the fact that this is happening in Manchester and around Manchester is is only a good thing for this project it's a massive thing for this city and everything it's so talented this city you know you only have to look at the music so and the ceramics and all the paintings and portraits have done so that's wonderful I'm getting professional stuff coming from all over the world saying oh Manchester I just want to exhibit there and come and visit and see my work there so the birth of this idea has happened right here in this city and it's just going to be like Glastonbury all over again but in the arts festival so good on Manchester I don't know whether it's in the air or the water or whatever it is but this is a happening city and what are you hoping for the future for this for the out of the box are you, are you hoping that it's going to go to London to New York how far would you like to see this go uh, I'd like to see it cross the globe in all the big cities and of course the major slice and the donations is going to go to the homelessness to have uh, provisions like uh, sleeping bags like medical packs and, and even when they're in hostels and stuff like that when they're moving into flats having furniture tellies things that they can't afford so it's going to be all provisions that these guys can't afford and it's going to go on as long as the moon circles the earth and very quickly just before we finish people can find out more on social media are you acting on social media acting on social media and all that they can find that um, out you know there's websites available in all these things that they can get through your uh, lovely program but you know what we, we, we're looking for someone to open these events as well, someone who might be a bit known. So, you know, we're open to an offer to someone come in and it, it's good PR and it gets everyone together. But as I said, the whole humanitarian thing of this is so beautiful because art, once again, is going to heal and help a situation which is, uh, which is quite dire. But this is probably positive. Well, thank you very much indeed for coming in to talking to us and the best of luck with the yeah, festival. Thank you very much. Thank you.